Here's this week's My Boat feature. Small outboards can be powerful and reliable little workhorses, but there is some work that you have to do. You can't leave it all up to the manufacturer no matter how well they're designed these days. Every 100 hours or at least once a season, there's some routine maintenance that you can do. And it's fairly straightforward and simple, and that's what we're going to show you this week on My Boat. First up, this 15 horsepower Mercury two-stroke engine. The cowling is easily removed with the flip of a latch, but we'll come back here in a minute. First, we'll start draining the lower unit gear lube, as letting it all drip out can take a few minutes. Remove the bottom screw to allow draining to begin, and then unscrew the vent. Sometimes, these can be pretty tight. And let it flush right out and leave it to drain. A dollar store pan is a cheap and easy solution for how to catch it. When that's happening, unscrew the nut and slide the prop off, inspecting it, the shaft, and seal for damage or fishing line. Leave that for a moment, as we easily remove the fuel filter. Check for any particles in the housing and clear them out. Drop in the new filter, replace the rubber gasket, and screw the housing back on. Next up, the spark plugs. Slide the boots off and use a socket wrench with spark plug extension to loosen them. Then unscrew and remove them by hand. Even to an untrained eye, you can see the difference between a season's worth of heavy use and a brand new plug. Simply reverse the process with the new plugs, and that's another item done. Now, right before we fill it back up with gear lube, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have everything you need nearby. Something else to take note of. Both of these holes are filled with the screw and sealed with this little plastic washer. What some people do is just a visual inspection. If there's no problems with it that they can see, they put it back on. But, given the relative low cost of replacing them, and how badly you want to keep water out of getting in to your lower unit, I say put a brand new one on each and every time you do this. There's a number of ways to get the lube in. We're going to use a pump that screws into the lower unit and goes right into the container. Keep pumping in the lube until you see it start to drip out of the vent at the top. Screw the vent plug back in first, and then the drain plug. Don't worry about lube dripping, that's why we put the catch basin underneath, but wipe it all down when you're done. After looking for any possible leaks, apply a liberal amount of Mercury 2-4C grease to the shaft and replace and secure your prop and you're done with the lower unit. Lastly, use a grease gun to give a blast of lube to the swivel and tilt. This four-stroke is similar in a lot of ways to the two-stroke we just did that maintenance on, but there are some differences. It's a little more complicated, but nothing that you can't handle. The main differences are in the motor itself. This is also a 15 horsepower though. Again, remove the prop and inspect for damage. The lower unit is virtually identical, though the location of drain and vents can vary based on model and manufacturer. The spark plugs too are virtually identical in terms of removal and replacement, though the exact model number is different. Check your manual or online to find out which is right for your motor. The fuel filter is a little more tricky here. It's tucked away, and you have to remove the clasps from either end before pulling the hoses off. With that, the filter is released, and you can replace it before reconnecting the hoses and clasps. The main difference of four-stroke versus two-stroke motors is the need to change the oil in the engine itself. It's easily done by unscrewing the plug and catching the oil. If you can turn the motor, you can attempt to make it a less messy proposition, though I haven't quite mastered that myself yet. When empty, replace the plug and move up to unscrew the oil filter. Take your new filter and with a finger dipped in oil, lube up the rim before screwing it on. Take any time to sop up any spilled oil or fuel and then fill your four stroke oil to the appropriate level. Check for leaks in the lower unit and seeing none, lube the shaft and replace and secure the prop. So there you have it, the four stroke a little more complicated than the two stroke. Both are absolutely doable, even for novice boaters. About a two out of five in terms of difficulty. Just gotta make sure you have the right tools. And don't mind getting a little dirty. But it's worth it in the long run because the maintenance on your engine will make it last that much longer. And that means that much more boating.